here the question says the plot below shows the relationship between the mortality risk of cardiovascular disease and the number of steps a person walks per day. So here you can see the graph. This is mortality risk of cardiovascular disease 1 to 0 means it is 1 can be mentioned as 100%. And this is 0%. If we talk in percentage, this is 80%. 0.8 means 80%. This is 60. This is 40, 20, so on and 0. Okay. Now, further they have given steps per day. It is 0 to 5,000, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 steps per day. Now, based on the data, which one of the following option is true? Based on the given data, which option is correct? That is what they are asking. Let us go directly to the options. First option they are saying, the risk reduction on increasing the steps per day from 0 to 5000 is less than the risk reduction on increasing the steps from 15 to 20,000. So they are saying 0 to 5000 risk reduction is less, risk reduction is less and 15,000 to 20,000 risk reduction is more. Let us compare. See, 0 to 5000, 0 to 5000 from 100% it is becoming near to 40%. So, here it is 0 to 5000, it is 60% reduction. Risk reduction is 60%. Now, next is 15 to 20,000. The further they are saying 15,000 to 20,000. 15,000 to 20,000, this is actually 0.1, that is 10%, and this is 0 0.05, that is 5%. So, here it is 5%. 5% decrease. So, is this value less? No, 60%, it is more reduction. Here it is more reduction, here it is less reduction. So, no doubt, first option becomes wrong because here it is 60% and this is just 5% reduction. So, we can't say that 60% is less than 5%. We can't say that. That is the reason our first one is wrong. Moving to the second one. For any 5,000 increment in steps per day, the largest risk reduction occurs going from 15 to 20,000. We know already 15 to 20,000, the risk reduction is just 5%. Okay, so they are saying everywhere, any, any 5,000 if you take steps per day, largest risk reduction is here. This is the smallest risk reduction, not largest. Largest is actually we have found that is 0 to 5,000. Here it is 0 to 5,000, it is total 60%. Again, 5,000 to 10,000, you can say it is 0.4 and this is you can say 0.2 so this is 20 percent and then it is 5 percent 15 to 20 thousand it is 5 percent and 20 to 10 this is 10 percent so the largest is from 0 to 5 thousand and this is the smallest actually so no doubt the second one also becomes wrong because here they say this is the largest one largest reduction but actually this is the smallest reduction 5 percent only moving to the third option for any 5,000 increment steps in per day, the largest risk reduction occurs going from 0 to 5,000. Yes, 0 to 5,000 we have seen there is a 60% reduction. 0 to 5,000 if you see, there is a 60% reduction from 0 to 5,000. It is from 100% to 40%, that is 60% reduction. Remaining everywhere it is, here it is from 40 to 20, that is 20%. Here it is 20 to 10, that is 10 percent here 10 to 5 that is only 5 percent so largest reduction is 0 to 5000 no doubt option c should be the, our correct answer but let's see why option d is wrong option d they are saying the risk reduction on increasing steps de per day from 0 to 10,000 is less than the risk reduction increasing steps per day from 10,000 to 20,000 so 0 to 10,000 is less 10,000 as compared to 10,000 to 20,000. Let us see. 0 to 10,000. If we talk directly 0 to 10,000. 0 to 10,000, it is directly from here to here. So, it is 20%. 1 to 20, 1 to 20 means total it is 80%. So, 0 to 10,000 is actually, this is 80% reduction. Okay. 10,000 to 20,000. If we talk about 10,000 to 20,000, 10,000 is actually 0.2. 20,000 is actually 0 0.05 means 20 this is 15 percent that is 0 0.2 means 20 percent 0 0.05 0 0.05 is 5 percent so total 15 percent reduction here so here it is 15 percent so can you say 
that 80 percent is less than the 15 percent no so that is the reason our option d is also wrong the correct answer is option c statement is correct here